Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at creating presentations on your iPad, and we're going to take a deeper look at the live video function. Now, this is great. We know in higher education, students are asked very often to create presentations as part of assignments, but equally, this is very useful for lecturers to be able to do this or students that have to model things within any presentations they're doing. So let's jump in and check out some of those features. Now, I'm just here in a new presentation. I've not done anything different here, just started a new deck. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on the plus icon at the top, and you'll notice live video as the new tool. So if I go ahead and tap on this, you'll notice straight away it brings up this video. Now, instantly you can see the power of this because I'm using this to do a presentation. Now, a couple of things to just highlight here whilst we're in this view, we can edit what this screen looks like. Obviously, we can move it around on the page. And if we come up here to the paintbrush um, and the formatting button, you'll see we've got different styles that we can add in. We can add those borders, borders etc. It's so the same as with your shapes, etc. You can do all of those things to customize the look. If you go into the live video itself, there are different masks that you can use. So if you want it to look, you know, more like a circle with your head in the middle of the circle whilst you present, again, you can move that around the page, you can place it wherever you want on the screen. And you can change all of those even down to custom sizes. So you can make this a long, thin rectangle. And I've done other videos on sort of the, the ways that you can kind of play around with this. But we're just looking at this as a, as a basic presentation. So you can see now I can be on the screen whilst presenting to my students or equally if you're creating this as a presentation to submit, you can be in your video. Other things to just highlight as well is we've also got the power to add in additional cameras. So I'm on key keynote on my iPad at the moment. So I've got two cameras available to me. You'll notice at the moment, I'm using the front camera. If I go ahead and tap on this, you'll see that I can change the sources. So by tapping on the plus, it gives you an option to change the source. At the moment, I'm on the front camera. Again, you can go ultra wide, probably too scary for, for um, when you might be watching this, but it's there as an option, or just that wide. But equally, I can re reverse this to the rear facing camera. Now that brings me to the next point, and that is when I'm doing a presentation, I might want to do some live modeling. Now at the moment, I can have the camera on the back alongside the camera on the front whilst I'm presenting. So I'm just gonna cancel this out, because I've already added one in. So I'm just gonna go in and start a new live video feed. So you can have multiple feeds here. But on this second one, I'm gonna change this then to be that rear facing camera, because I've already added it in. And now you see that I can do a presentation, format how I want that to look. And not only am I in the camera, but I can equally start to model things that I want to show. So it could be that I'm using a document here and I want the students to be able to see something specific. And I can do that modeling live whilst I'm on the camera. So again, really, really useful tools there, depending on what you're presenting. You know, I'm thinking science, you might want to present something that's live in the room with you. Um, you know, absolutely anything. So just have all of those options. So different live camera views for you to be able to utilize when you're presenting. Now, there's another thing that I just want to highlight here. And that is the fact that because we've got two live video feeds, why not use this to do an interview as well? So when you're doing presentations, think creatively about what your presentation might look like. If you've had an interview with someone, rather than just showing the video of them, why not record it in this sense of interviewer in this camera and the person that you're interviewing, get my fingers pointing the right way around, in that camera. So live, we can both be on the camera at the same time and simply in the same way I'm doing this, just do a screen record and you can have that interview feel as well with additional graphics on the page, perhaps questions, etc., cetera, um, just highlighting what you're doing. So lots and lots of ideas about how you can sort of really think about how you can present. Further with live video, and you can start to interact between your devices. So if you have an iPad as well as your MacBook, you can go so much further. So I'm gonna jump into my keynote here, updated, on my MacBook, and you'll see that I've got my video feed uh, playing through here. But what I can do now to change this um, is I can start to now add in an additional feed, and this is where the iPad comes in. So I've got my feed here, this is my video, so this is how I'd be presenting, you'd see me on the screen. I can have some information for the viewers here, so similar to doing this on your iPad. But now this video can be another option. So obviously on my MacBook, I don't have a rear-facing camera, but what I can do 
is I can add this in as a different camera altogether. So rather than being my default camera, I can come over here. Okay, so now I can add in that additional device. Here's my additional iPad here and select it here. Usually you have to unlock the device to just make it work. So I'll just jump onto this device. Here we go, it's just gonna pop up onto screen. You can see I've now got my screen on the device. I then go ahead and tap add there. And now this video is gonna change to be my iPad. Now, again, we saw this in the previous video, we can change how that looks. So I'm just gonna to go to portrait mode. I've already added in this kind of, uh, this iPad screen, just so it, you know you, you know what you're looking at basically. So I'm just gonna enlarge this just so it fills that gap. And now you've got access to your presentation whilst you've still got your, your um, camera on the screen as well. So now you can see how that will move between the slides that I'm on. And then if I want to do a, like a live presentation, so I'm going to create this as a presentation um, as live for my audience, um, but I want to show them what I'm doing on my iPad at the same time, or even if I was streaming this over Zoom or however you do your video calling, I've kind of got everything in one place. So I'm live on the slide, my device is live on the slide, and you know whether I record this or whether I'm doing this live, everyone can see what I'm doing. So for example, if I jump into notes, I can open this up on my device. I'm just going to make that full screen, just move my keyboard down. So now I've got this fantastic tool to be able to do all of that work. So I can use this as a whiteboard. I can just share those things that I want to share um, with my audience. I'm not going to go all artistic on anything on you. Just a nice smiley face I think will do. So now all of a sudden you can see how you can use this as that whiteboard for your videos whilst you're presenting and again you have that full access to everything on your iPad whilst you're presenting and still be on the screen yourself if that's what you want. Now I'm going to say at this point check out this uh, great video from Paul Tulloch who's done uh, great things with this. He's been connecting his device so that you can actually be a Memoji in this video here rather than it being just your face, which I think is great and, and you know something that I'll probably start using as well because I'm a little bit shy of being on camera. So some great options there when it comes to doing your presentations.